I feel like that's them warning me, like, um, I'm about to come out in a second. You're getting too close. Let me pick up this magnetite. I don't know what this magnetite does, but I'm gonna still take it. Fuck. 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 It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming for me. <laughs> no! We take those. Alright, we can go now. We can go. Where did you go? Where did you go? Huh. Oh, you're a nice guy. You're a nice guy. All right. I don't know which one was which. So <laughs> we are going to just listen to all of this on our way back. And yeah. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He tell me it was childish. But I stare out the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Radiation! that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they won't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, Shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. So the crab snakes are the things that's down there, and they're vicious creatures. The one that I tried to go up to, yeah, they, they, they tried to kick my ass a real good total. So, this guy, Bart, is on this planet by him, by his lonesome. You know, let's, let's go to his second law. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering. But I didn't have enough of that with glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed. She dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here? If we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful. I wish I knew more about these animals. But the father won't let me leave that. But, um, maybe with all this glass, we can build a containment unit and get up closer. So I'm guessing we are able to make a containment unit to contain these creatures, which is interesting. That's actually really interesting. Uh, Marguerite is a badass chick. She just stole stalker teeth. So apparently the stalkers, you could get stalker teeth? Is that what I'm, is that what I'm gathering here? You can get their teeth? How the fuck do you do that? 
I guess he need to pick up something metal and then he drops the tooth. How do you drop your teeth, bro? He even chomped at me and didn't drop his teeth. Huh. Do I kill it and then I get its teeth? But it's not dropping it though. Huh, that's an interesting theory for another time. An interesting theory for another time. We'll get stalker teeth. Now let us go see what else has been going on with these people. Some of these may be an old message though. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I've been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We should have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. What? It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So this is when the dude was on the island, and now he turned out to be... Did he die? So, so they started on the island, they eventually went down deep into the ocean where we found that little base, and he came back up, but Marguerite and his dad died. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators, fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, Father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight, Nader, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking of it. So at the moment, what we need to make is a radiation suit. I'm trying not to interrupt, but we need a radiation suit because I was just... I almost died of radiation coming out from the cave. So I'm a, in the meantime, I will be getting some some supplies for this radiation suit i hope you guys enjoy these audio messages telling the story as we try to decipher it together because it seems like everything is here but everything is told out of order so these people crashed on this alien planet water was surrounding them from all ends and the guy has an invention with the plants so i said wait for the storm to pass your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll oh, wow. stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boys like? Day. If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry, you start wondering what it tastes like. <laughs> Son, go deal with the plant. Bart, Torgo, has lived in Bart's habitat. Interfere, I found it And when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? 
No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No state here either. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. So the guy left to go drain the grow beds. Okay, that's pretty understandable. Uh, there was going through a rainstorm. The guy, they're basically talking about the grow beds. Okay, this is when it was on the island. Okay. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Part of another ship? Not I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. They're talking about this purple ah, tablet don't here. Around with that. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. So, Marguerite was most definitely not trying to stay here at all. And this is actually kind of blowing my high. <laughs> I don't know if I want to sit here and listen to you, but I do want to digest the story. So, they're talking about that purple tablet, most definitely. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay me a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. So for enough money, people always do what they're told. And Marguerite is a crazy badass. She went up against some stalkers without no problem in the world. What is this? A what? A reactor rod? Uranite crystals? Oh lord. <laughs> oh lord. So in the meantime, we are making ourselves a rebreather. We probably should have made that way before. And a radiation suit to help us with the radiation. And we will be doing some exploratizing so we don't have to worry about the radiation. Oh wow, so we don't have to worry about the radiation being a problem. In the meantime... We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. An off switch around here, Chief. Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that should be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. <laughs> Your authority stopped at sea level. So th that, that message is when they got down to the ocean and they decided to go deeper, which I believe is crazy enough when it is. Why, why, you, why would you want to go deeper into the ocean? User Paul Torgo requested cross-referring environmental scans, the ideal habitat constructed, large subterranean cavern with multiple entrances, conditions, unique microcosm of predatory life forms, minor structural instability and in cave walls, deposits, uh, environmental safety rating C, optimal habitat safety B, site 7 has been uh, environmental habitat construction, close proximity of one of the cave entrances, medium predatory life, okay. That's medium predatory life? The crab snakes are medium? How big does this shit get? Long, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Beda, the cut-price mercenary commission for the journey. 
After days drifting in the light pot, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I hadn't made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life than her physical altercation and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. The fact that you're, you have to wait years on an alien planet is absolutely bonkers, bro. What the fuck? So, we're not the only people to crash on this planet. Because these people, Paul, Marguerite, and the Chief, were all a part of a ship called the Degasi. And now, they all died at the end of their story. Let's let's check this out. Yogi Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PTA. So we have another life pod we can go and check out. Where is that? Life pod 13. Okay, let let us let us do this in the meantime while we try to discuss and while I take myself a shot. So at the moment I made myself a radiation suit because it turns out we have to worry about radiation for some reason so that's a big worry and I'm not trying to worry about that so our first objective is going to this life pod and checking to make sure if this guy is okay he's all alone he's a high priority passenger apparently uh, whoa This is a new place. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What? Uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. This is an entirely new area. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. These things are hard as shit. Oh, I like how you can gradually... You gradually get the new biomes in this game. You gradually get them. You don't just... They don't just appear out of nowhere. Um, can I scan this, first of all? Tree mushroom. Indigenous life form. Okay, that seems dope. And they got like ore deposits growing out of them. Oh, this place is cool. This place is alright. It's. Whoa! Whoa! Wait! What are you? Are you hostile? You seem fine. You seem fine. What are you guys? Wait, come! Come, stop running from me! Jelly Ray? I 
I'm actually really interested. This species has adapted to low light environments with translucent luminescent bodies. Oh wow. That's actually interesting. What is this? A Cyclops bridge? That's a whoa. That is a submarine. Power transmitter? Cyclops hole? What the fuck is a Cyclops? That's the thing that it keep every time I load up the game. Every time I load up the game, they're always talking about some Cyclops shit. Is that what I'm getting right now? Alright, let, let, let's see what's going Whoa. Let's see what's going on with this guy here. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. You okay, bud? Hey, dude. Dude, you good, dude? How you doing, dude? Dude is dead. There's nothing hostile over here. How, how did you die? How, bro? Tell me how. These guys seem like the kindest little creatures ever. Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, Aurora survivors. Uh, I'm looking for you. That was some dark shit. So the guy is dead. <laughs> he is dead. Deader than dead. This man has no life whatsoever. Jesus, bro. That's actually really sad. I didn't want to hear that. Homeboy just went, came down to the planet high priority passenger and then he just died at the end like bro I'm so sorry for that wow man we are really the only people left on this planet we are the only person not people person left on this planet that's insane everyone is gone <laughs> everyone is gone <laughs> Wow, that's a damn shame. It is yet a tragic story, but what more can you do? The more we can do is survive. And as survivalists, we, we live for adventure. And as the adventure lives, we live for thrill and lust. And as we lust, we have fun. Okay, at the moment, I currently don't know what I, where I'm going. I'm just guessing that the Cyclops stuff is here because that's what I've seen. I'm guessing that's what I need. At the moment, it's the next material that's on the list, it seems. Or the next vehicle that's on the list. And I'm not seeing nothing. Warning. Maximum oh, reached. maximum depth. All right, let us let us in the meantime. Oh, what the fuck? That is abyss. Yo, how deep does this game go? Like, honestly, how deep? 
Why do we have to be all the way over here? Yo, I hear nothing. What is that down there? Warning. Maximum death is reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, there's something down there. Alright, let us let us let us go to the surface. Cause the surface seems nice. To see where we are in relation to the Aurora. Because because the Aurora is the next place. What do you mean Leviathan class features in a region? Are you sure whatever you're doing is worth it? I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. So when you're telling me if it's worth it or not, I would say possibly yes. We are actually really far from the Aurora though. We're actually, I did not know we, ho, 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 I see nothing. I see nothing. I see nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so, yo, I'm petrified. I am petrified. I am petrified. What am I doing? Where am I going? I'm going that way. No, whatever I'm doing is not worth it. I'm leaving. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> whatever I was doing is not worth it. <laughs> it really is not. And uh, that just means a whole lot of death. What do you mean, Leviathan class? So far, the only Leviathan I've seen was the Reefback Leviathan. Hold on, didn't they, didn't the, 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 at the rendezvous point, didn't they say that they saw like Leviathan class creatures? That was near the Aurora though. I'm not anywhere near the Aurora. But we have another radio transmission. So I guess that's where we're going to go next. But I can't see shit. Get it. So we're gonna get this next radio transmission, end it off here, and then for the next episode we will be going to the Aurora and seeing what's up there for us to acquire. What is that? Oh, it's just growing shit on the walls. We will be going to the Aurora and seeing what the Aurora has to offer for us but we have another radio transmission hopefully it's the people to get me off this crazy planet because they're talking about leviathan creatures and i don't i don't <laughs> that doesn't sound good <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all <laughs> a leviathan <laughs> no I don't want to deal with that. Alright, I'm, I'm fine with the Leviathan that I've seen. I feel like they're going to get much worse. Because why did why did the special officer come back alone? The woman was not with... What? Are you honestly telling me that I just died because I <sighs> you've got to be kidding me honestly I died because I, I got out the ship the wrong way that's horrible that's horrible well at least I don't have to worry about food or water Oh, I completely forgot. I came here for a reason. What's happening? This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda. Mm-hmm. There's no bad without the good. No 
good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. But that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. That sounds nice. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We can touch what we're finding and suck him out. Uh, they're on their way. They're on their way. So do I, I'm guessing I don't, I'm guessing I still have to go to the Aurora. So it seems like we're going to end it off here. And then the next episode, we will be heading to the big damn ship. And this big damn ship is a bad big damn ship. So let us go there next episode. And if you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Seaweed Playthrough Crossfaded episode. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time.